Lesson 37, I will find the product of a whole number and a mixed number using the distributive property. So let's just review really quickly. If we're talking about the product, well the product is the answer to a multiplication problem. So we have a multiplication problem we know and we are multiplying a whole number and a mixed number. So remember a mixed number is a whole number and a fraction. So today we're going to talk about the product of a whole number times a mixed number and we're going to use the distributive property and I'll show you the distributive property when we get there. So go ahead and get your math journals today. We're going to do a little bit in there. Go ahead and label it with today's date and I also want you to write lesson 37 multiply a whole number by a mixed number. Alright now, so the first thing I want you to do is I want you to draw a tape diagram with me. We're going to show 3 and 1 fifth in two parts. The ones and the fractional parts. So let me show you what I mean by that. Okay, so let's go ahead and draw our tape diagram. So I'm going to start with my standard rectangle. And you'll notice that I said in two parts. So I want the ones in one part and the fractional part in the other. So since the ones is so much greater than the fractional part, I'm going to do it like this. And I'm just going to call this the ones, which there are three, because I'm doing three and one fifth. And then this is the fractional part. So this is three and one fifth. Okay? Now, let's draw one more copy of three and one fifth. But this time we're going to do three and one fifth as two parts on the same tape diagram, okay? So it's going to look like this. So we're going to draw another tape diagram. This time we're going to make it bigger. Really big, okay? And we're going to draw three and one fifth twice. Okay, so it's going to look like this. Alright, so I'm going to split it in half. And then I'm going to draw the one fifth right here. And then here's my three holes. And then I'm going to do it again down here. So I've got three and one fifth. Okay, so here's my mixed number. My mixed number is three and one fifth, and it is the product of two times three and one fifth. I did three and one fifth two times. So that's the same thing as two times three and one fifth. That's why I have two threes and two one fifths. Okay, now we're going to make one more tape diagram. This is the last one that we're going to make. But this time, we're going to put the threes on the left and the fifths on the right. So let me show you what I mean by that. Okay, so let's draw our tape diagram again. We're going to draw another big one. And we're going to put the threes on the left. So we're going to put three holes and three holes. And then the one-fifths are on the right. So now we put the threes together and the one-fifths together. Okay? Now, here's where the distributive property comes into play. Because if you take a look at our new model, you can see how many threes do we have? We have two. How many one-fifths do we have? We have two. So we can think of two times three and one-fifth as, here's the distributive property. I multiplied the 3 times 2, and then I add that to the 1 fifth times 2. So I multiply both of these parts of this mixed number times 2. 2 times 3 plus 2 times 1 fifth. Now I can easily solve this. Now, Okay, I want you to write this math problem in your journal. I want you to start with your whole number, 2 times 3 and 1 fifth equals parentheses 2 times 3, close parentheses, plus parentheses, two times one-fifth, close parentheses. I want you to write that. When you're finished writing that, I want you to press play on the video. And we're going to finish and we're going to go ahead and solve this, okay? All right, so first of all, let's think of it like this. Two times three and one-fifths is equal to. So we've got two times three. What is two times three? It's six, right? So we've got six plus what's two times one-fifth? Well, that's going to be two-fifths. So we've got six plus two-fifths and that equals six and two-fifths. So this is what we're gonna work on today in our problem set. So go ahead and get out your problem set, write your name at the top, and then we're going to kind of review a little bit, and then we're gonna start solving some of these whole number times mixed numbers. So draw tape diagrams to show two ways to represent two units of four and two-thirds. And this is basically what you just did in your math journal. So let's go ahead and draw two tape diagrams.
All right, so the first way to, sh to represent two units of four and two thirds is let's split this in half. And then let's do our whole number four and two thirds. There's one unit of it. And then let's do another one. Four units and two thirds. So do you remember from our math journal how, what would be another way to represent this? Well, if you'll remember in our math journal, we put the whole numbers together like this, four and four, and then we put the two fractions together, two thirds, two thirds. And it's kind of like we distributed the two. We said two times four, two times two thirds. So now we're gonna write a multiplication expression to match each tape diagram. So for the first one, we've got two times four and two thirds, because I've got four and two thirds one time, four and two thirds two times. Now for this one, we've got two times four plus two times two thirds. See the difference? Two times four, here's four two times, here's two thirds two times. And you have to put a plus sign in the middle or else you're multiplying them together and that'll get you a completely different answer. All right, now we're going to solve the following. Use a distributive property. The first one has been done for you. As soon as you're ready, you may omit the step that is line two. Okay, so what they're saying is as soon as we're ready, we don't have to do this line, but we're going to do it for a little bit, okay? All right, so we've got two times four and two-thirds, okay? So that is two times four plus two-thirds, because remember, you can take your mixed number and, and, divide, and add the two parts together. So now here's the distributive property. Two times four plus two times two-thirds. Okay, so two times four is eight plus two times two-thirds, that is four-thirds. That's going to equal eight and four-thirds. Now, I do know that this is an improper fraction, but we're going to go ahead and leave it that way for right now. All right, so let's try one more. All right, so we've got three times two plus five-eighths. That is three times two plus three times five-eighths. So now I've got three times two, which is six, plus three times five-eighths, which is fifteen-eighths. That gives me six and fifteen-eighths. Again, this is an improper fraction, but we're going to leave it that way for right now. All right, so now I've got two times four plus seven tenths. So here's the distributive property. Two times four plus two times seven tenths. I want you to try to finish this by yourself. So go ahead and pause the video and get as far as you can. When you're ready, come back and we'll finish it together. Okay, so hopefully you paused it and you got two times four is eight plus two times seven tenths is 14 tenths. And when I put that together, I get eight and 14 tenths. Okay, all right, moving right along. So now we've got three times seven thirds. Okay, so we've got three times seven plus three fourths. If you feel like you're getting the hang of it and you'd like to try to do this by yourself, go ahead and pause the video and see how much you can do and then come back and check with me. All right, so this would be three times seven plus three times three fourths. That gives me 21 plus nine fourths, which equals 21 and nine fourths. All right, so if you haven't tried any by yourself, this would be a good time to stop the video and do a little self-check. Pause the video and see how much of this you can do by yourself, and then come back and I'll work through it with you. If you get stuck, you can always press play. All right, so we have six times three plus one half equals six times three plus six times one half. That equals 18 plus six halves, 
which equals 18 and 6 halves. All right, let's try G. 4 times 9 plus 1 fifth. So remember, using the distributive property, I'm going to go 4 times 9 plus 4 times 1 fifth. And that equals 36 plus 4 fifths, which equals 36 and 4 fifths. All right, next, they've got this backwards. So I'm just going to put it the right, the, not the right way, but the way that we've been doing it the other time so that it won't be so confusing. So I'm going to say 4 times 5 plus 6 eighths equals... 4 times 5 plus 4 times 6 eighths. So now I have 20 plus 24 eighths, which equals 20 and 24 eighths. All right, so now we're going to do a little bit of application problem, applying what we just learned to real life, okay? So for one dance costume, Sasha needs four and two-thirds feet of ribbon. How much ribbon does she need for five identical costumes? Okay, so we just read it. Now I'm thinking to myself, is there something that I can draw to represent this? Well, I've been using a tape diagram to represent this. So I'm going to make a tape diagram that's, I'm not going to draw a gigantic one, but I am going to do a small one, and I'm going to make the parts kind of small. Because I've got four and two-thirds. Okay, so I'm going to divide this into five parts. So I'm going to come through here and draw four lines. One, two, three, and I think I'm just going to add a little bit on here so that it's not too squished in there. So now I've got one, two, three, four, five parts. So I've got four and two-thirds, four and two-thirds, four and two-thirds. And you'll notice this is four and two-thirds is for every costume, and now I've got one for all five costumes. Okay, so now let's think about this. If this is what I'm, this is what I have, and I'm trying to figure out what's my total here. So what could be the math problem that I write? What does it look like I have? Well, I see five times four and two thirds. I've got four and two thirds five times. So now I can just solve this just like I did all the other problems. So I'm going to say five times four plus two thirds equals, here's that distributive property, 5 times 4 plus 5 times 2 thirds equals 20 plus 10 thirds, which equals 20 and 10 thirds. So now I'm going to write my sentence. How much ribbon does she need for five identical costumes? So I'm going to say, she needs... 20 and 10 thirds feet of ribbon. And again, I realize that I'm leaving this improper fraction every single time, and that's okay. We're going to work on that in the next lesson. Okay, so today we learned to find the product, which means the answer to a multiplication problem, of a whole number times a mixed number. And we use a distributive property. So remember, the distributive property is where you take this whole number and you sort of distribute it. You say, okay, I'm going to multiply the whole number, and then I'm going to multiply the fraction, but you multiply them by the same number. So I want you to remember that and come back to your problem set if you have any struggles with your exit ticket.